So is this going to make it a lot easier for you to jam to your Swifty music? <laughs> Swifty. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Casey and uh, well behind me we've got my uh, 2022 Jeep Gladiator and in today's video we're going to be doing a bit of an audio upgrade to the Jeep uh, to see if we can improve some of the sound system. We've got the factory Alpine stereo system in it, but I keep seeing this one product come up over and over on Instagram and in YouTube videos and with talking to people that's supposed to be an awesome upgrade to the speakers. That's supposed to be a five minute install and I guess it was kind of low cost. So today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of installation and a review on these speakers that I picked up and these are from from Terra Acoustics. I've blanked out my address because they ship the box just like this. In this box, we have a set of front replacement speakers. And oh, look at that, they even include the tools that we are gonna need for this installation. And uh, rock on from Zach. So if you're unfamiliar with the Terra, Acoust Terra Acoustic speakers, um, I've had several people recommend these to me. I've talked to several people about what they thought and everybody has really good reviews on them. I thought I'd pick up a set and show you guys and give you my brutally honest opinion and review. A lot of things get sponsored on the channel, a lot of things get sent to me and I do more of a feature on the product rather than a perspective and review but I bought these. I paid full retail price for these. Uh, I'm gonna let you know whether or not I think they're worth the couple hundred bucks that I spent on them. Let's see what we got from Zach. This is not because we make YouTube videos. This is, I guess, what they write on boxes that people purchase. So these are supposed to replace the uh, front speakers. So you can see here, we've got these little, little guys like this right here. And we have two of them, one for each side. And these are supposed to be plug and plug and play. We shouldn't need to do anything extra to install these other than remove the covers and a couple bolts on each one of these. In here we have some new speaker grills. So we have some tweeters built into the grill now along with these. Guessing with the uh, separated tweeter on the speaker and an upgrade to the Alpine speakers that we have, we, we might see an improvement. So that's what you get in the box. A little trim removal tool and uh, some sort of screwdriver thing. and a sticker. So the other thing that I've noticed is these are those little tweeters that have the rings on them. They seem to sell different colored ones. So if you want to do some, some color matching like we have here, we have the orange. I think you can get different colored rings for the tweeter. But basically these are gonna replace these speakers up here uh, on our dash. So up here and on our passenger side. These don't go up here, we're not replacing these speakers up in the, the sport bar. We're just gonna replace these two front end speakers. See if there's any instructions for installation in here. Nothing, no installation instructions, no QR code. Oh, here we go. Installation guide. Scan this QR code for easy installation guide. Under 10 minutes, everything you need is included in this kit. Well, that doesn't sound like we need instructions at all. I'm gonna wing it. If you guys need instructions, there's a QR code on the side of the box of these. I have taking, taken, taking, taken the speaker covers off my Jeeps a couple times on the uh, Wrangler to route wires and actually remove part of the, if you wanna ever remove this handle to get this trim piece off you. First thing you gotta do is take the speaker grill off. So let's, let's do this first. A little dusty from recent travels. We even got mud on the dash. Once we have the grill off, we've just got these two screws here. Need this. That's gonna be kind of hard to get to, but it looks like it just had a Phillips head on it, so we can probably use our little stubby Phillips head. I think this might be easier than trying to get this tool in there. Let's try that first. That uh, looks like it's gonna do the job. I guess you could flip your window down. That's a huge pain. That would definitely make this not a 10 minute installation. 
we go. Just pop those loose. And in here we have a little clip. There we go. Once we release that. And so now this is what we have. And this is what we're going to have is a new speaker with no fuzzy mesh on it and a new grill it's going to be a two-piece speaker so i'm guessing that this lets us adapt to this factory harness yeah so we're going to plug the factory harness into here and have this little wire that comes off of it looks like we just split that up to our little tweeter so all right let's fire this back in we'll take this we'll take this leave this that we don't need so we'll plug the factory harness into the new harness clips in nicely. And then we're gonna have to have this wire come out the side. Oh, I see. The notch. And then we'll have this wire here that we can plug into our our speaker grill in a moment. We'll take our new plate, which I'm guessing these are side specific, and I just happened to grab the right one, but you shouldn't be able to put these in the wrong way. This cable is really long. Now we've got all the wiring tucked underneath here. We've just got a little tiny bit of wiring going to this tweeter on the grill. There we go. That's all tucked in place. I'll quickly fire one in the other side and then uh, we'll see what it sounds like. Can we do a AB comparison to the uh, factory speakers and the uh, new uh, Terra acoustic speakers? Okay, for your reference, I'm going to set my equalizer completely to neutral so that we're not you know getting too much bass or whatever just for this test and then uh, we'll play a couple different tracks here off of uh, epidemic sound see what it sounds like so let's grab the uh, big camera we'll switch over to that so we'll get some audio clips of these speakers we'll be able to compare them Like there's a lot more bass coming from the front initially just with that first song change it up a little bit get some guitar roll the windows down see if that makes any difference to the sound but it's super hot in here i'm dying so So one thing I can definitely notice is I can hear a lot of that higher frequency. I feel like there's more bass coming from the front now and I haven't changed any of the uh, bias to front or rear, but I've also noticed that more of the sound is coming from the front of the vehicle now. Definitely feels more biased to the front now. So uh, I just happen to have a um, audio expert here. Was that, An is audio that, file? Is that a, it's not even Starbucks, man. The uh, epic be bearded ginger has arrived at my house. I thought I would give him a listen. Uh, so is this gonna make it a lot easier for you to jam to your Swifty music? <laughs> Swifty, can't play that, it would be copyright. Oh. Yeah, we gotta play copyright free music. Why don't you have a listen and let me know what you think and then I'll give you guys my kind of final opinion and uh, we'll hop out of the Jeep before I turn into a melted puddle here. It's very warm in here. Why oh, would you pull this in the garage and work on it? Because it doesn't fit. Oh. Sounds good. And it saves worth it for me. Yeah, 10 minute install, two screws and a perfect trim clip. It looks good. Looks factory. Good. You can get colored rings that match oh. the orange rings. Hell. So I mean, why don't you have the colored ring? Let me look up the price of these so I can actually tell you 
what I paid and whether or not I think it's truly worth the price. If you're into music and you wanna bring a bit more of that soundstage towards the front of the vehicle, definitely it brings up those high-end frequencies on the in the front with those little tweeters moves the sound stage forward a bit more a little bit more bass coming out of the uh, mid-range speaker so these are 249 us plus probably some shipping so for 25 bucks you can add the accent rings here look at this guys so we've got red black silver blue gold i should have got the orange ones i think i have to order some orange ones I think, you know, for 250 bucks, it's it's a pretty good upgrade if you're picky about your sound. I, I don't think it's unnoticed, um, and I definitely uh, do notice the improvement to the sound. But if you're not an audio person, I think the the newer Jeeps with their, their stereos are pretty good, like way better than the JKs. To me, I like good sounding music, and it definitely brightens up the front of the soundstage and brings that a bit more forward. Bit more bass and clearer highs and uh and some vocals but i don't have any vocal music that isn't copyrighted i'll uh leave a link in the description to the terra acoustic speakers if you want to check them out it's not an affiliate link you might want to grab a set everybody says positive things about them and i i can see why it's it's definitely an upgrade and i'll leave some links down in the description to some other companies that help support me making content going out on adventures like epic adventure outfitters I highly encourage you guys to support the companies that do great work, support the community, and support making the content that you guys like to see here on YouTube. Next week, we're going to be back working on the JK. We've got a uh, new soft top, uh, an affordable soft top for it we're going to be putting on. So, you know, hit subscribe and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to, to answer them for you guys. Stop playing with all my stuff in the garage, Ginger. <laughs> Look at this.